हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल इंजीनियरिंग एजुकेशन प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल थैंक यू इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व प्रॉब्लम 11.7 फ्रॉम चैप्टर 11 रोटोडायनेमिक मशीनरी बुक अप्लाइड थर्मोडायनेमिक्स बाय टीडी स्टॉप एंड मिकोंकी द स्टेटमेंट ऑफ द प्रॉब्लम इज इन अ रिएक्शन स्टेज ऑफ अ स्टीम टरबाइन the nozzle angle is 20 degree and the absolute velocity of the steam at inlet to the moving blades is 240 meter per second the blade velocity is 210 meter per second if the blading is designed for 50% reaction determine the blade angle at inlet and exit the enthalpy drop per unit mass of steam in the moving blades and in the complete stage the diagram power for a steam flow of 1 kg per second and the diagram efficiency first of all we will write the given data from the given statement so in this problem the steam turbine is reaction stage turbine and its nozzle angle is 20 degree the absolute velocity cai is 240 meter per second and the blade velocity is 210 meter per second it is 50% reaction means that the value of a is 1 over 2 we have to find the blade angles at inlet and exit beta i and beta e second enthalpy drop per unit mass of steam in the moving blades h1 minus h2 and for complete stage it is h0 minus h2 so this is the hs property diagram so this drop h0 or h0 minus h2 represents the enthalpy drop for complete stage while h1 minus h2 this enthalpy drop is representing the enthalpy drop for the moving blades we will find both and in this specific case The, for complete stage the enthalpy drop is two times that of the enthalpy drop in the moving blades this is the configuration fixed blades moving blades this is the profile of pressure and velocity we see that in fixed blades pressure drop occurs while velocity increases then in moving blades we see the trend that pressure decreases as well as velocity decreases also moving blades here we are drawing the velocity triangle this is the velocity triangle already drawn so the notations are similar just like for impulse turbines for example cai is the absolute velocity at inlet cri is the relative velocity with respect to the blade at inlet cae is the absolute velocity at exit while cre is the relative velocity at exit alpha i is the nozzle angle or it is the angle which the absolute velocity at inlet is making with the speed of the blade our x axis this is the blade angle at exit this is the blade angle at inlet in this case from the symmetry of the triangle beta e is equal to alpha i so we will discuss it later coming to the solution of this problem 
first of all we are going to find the value of relative velocity at inlet CRI so for this using cosine law we can write that CRI square from the velocity triangle using cosine law CRI square is equal to CA I square plus C B square minus 2 C A I C B cos alpha I. So putting the values we can write that C R I whole square is equal to C A I is 2 40 square plus C B is 210 meter per second minus 2 into 240 into 210 cos alpha I alpha A I is 20 degree so solving it for C R I the value of C R I comes out 83.5 meter per second now using sine law to find the blade velocity at blade angle at inlet we can write that sine beta i is equal to C A I sine alpha I by C R I. This is basically sine law. From this we can find the value of beta I. So it will becomes equal to sine beta I is equal to C A I is 240 and the value of alpha i is 20 and the value of CRI is 83.5 meter per second so simplifying this the value of beta i is equal to 79.3 degree so this is the blade velocity at inlet required in part 1 also in part 1 blade velocity at exit is also required so from the symmetry of the diagram blade angle at exit that is beta e is equal to alpha i is equal to 20 degree as we discussed in the start from the symmetry of the triangle we can see that beta e is equal to alpha i and it is equal to 20 degree now further for part 2 we are going to find the enthalpy drop so for that from the velocity triangle CRE is equal to CAI is equal to 240 meter per second and enthalpy drop in the moving blades that is h1 minus h2 is equal to c r e square minus c r i square divided by 2 into 10 raised to power 3 dividing it by 1000 to convert it into kilojoule per kilogram 
So putting the values, the value of CRE is 240 square minus CRI is 83.5 whole square divided by 2 into 10 to the power 3. So simplifying this the enthalpy drop in the moving blades is equal to 25.3 kilojoule per kilogram. Also, it has been given in the problem that the blading is 50% reaction. So, from that, we can write that the enthalpy drop for the complete stage that is H0 minus H2 is equal to 2 into H1 minus H2. So it will be equal to 2 into H1 minus H2 value is 25.3 kilojoule per kilogram. So the value of enthalpy drop for the complete stage that is H0 minus H2 will be equal to 50.6 kilojoule per kilogram. Now third we have to find the diagram power. So in this case the diagram power is equal to mass flow rate into enthalpy drop for the complete stage. Mass flow rate is given which is 1 kilogram per second and the value of enthalpy drop for the complete stage is 50.6 kilojoule per kilogram. So the value of diagram power is equal to 50.6 kilowatt. Joule per second is equal to watt. So it will become kilojoule per second and further it will become 50.6 kilowatt. So this is the required diagram power. Fourth, we have to find the diagram efficiency. So for that, we have to find the energy input to the moving blades. So the energy input to the moving blades is calculated from the expression CAI square by 2 plus CRE square minus CRI square divided by 2. So as we discussed that CRE is equal to CAI. So using this, this will become, expression will become like this CAI square minus C R I square by 2. So putting the values, the value of C A I is 240 meter per second minus the value of C R I <coughs> is 83.5 meter per second divided by 2. So simplifying this we will get 
वन वन फोर किलो जाउल पर किलोग्राम सो दिस इज द एनर्जी इनपुट टू द मूविंग लेट्स वी कैन राइट इट लाइक दिस एनर्जी इनपुट टू द मूविंग लेट्स सो टू फाइंड द डायग्राम इफिशियंसी इट इज इक्वल टू द डायग्राम वर्क विच इज द आउटपुट divided by the energy input so in this case the diagram work is basically 50.6 kJ per kilogram and the diagram power is also 50.6 kW here is difference in diagram work and diagram power the unit of diagram work is kilojoule per kilogram while the unit of diagram power is kilowatt so here we use the unit kilojoule per kilogram and also the value of energy input is 54.114 kilojoule per kilogram so simplifying this the value of diagram efficiency is 93.5% so we can write that the value of diagram efficiency is equal to 93.5% so in this problem these things were required first we have to find the blade angles at inlet and exit the value of blade angle at inlet is 79.79.3 degree while the value of blade angle at exit is 20 degree then the enthalpy drop is 25.3 for moving blades and for complete stage it is h not minus h2 and the value of h not minus h2 is 50.6 diagram power is 50.6 kilowatt and the value of diagram efficiency is 93.5% so this was the solution of problem 11.7 thanks for watching please like and comment on my videos also subscribe my channel to get new videos